Hello everyone, Michael Boris here to tell you the download is back. I'll be on regularly with Christine Niles and Simon Rafe and a fourth special guest host from the CM crew. We're going to have in-depth discussions on the big news of the day and of course indispensable analysis from a Catholic perspective. So don't miss the download premiering on YouTube at 5 p.m. Eastern every weekday. God love you. Why does every alien look like some kind of weird smushed up human? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Michael Voris Show. we got a really crazy topic today because there seems to be this increased interest in aliens. R really? UFOs and aliens and the whole bit. Before we get into it, however, let's know that today's show is brought to you by Real Estate for Life. If you are selling your house, if you're buying a house, just contact Real Estate for Life. They'll hook you up with a pro-life real estate salesperson, a broker. They'll sell your house and without it costing you a dime, part of their commission will go to the pro-life organization of your choosing. Hopefully you'll choose St. Michael's Media and Church Militant, but you can have the money directed wherever you want to. Again, doesn't cost you a dime. It's a great deal. Been doing it for years uh, with the uh, folks who started there, so it's great. So let's go to aliens, really. You know, there is this kind of funny... This stuff didn't really start uh, until like the 1950s, just in time for, you know, TV and like weird movies about science fiction stuff and all that. Uh, you know, there are no real historical records of any of this kind of stuff. There's a thing here and there in crop circles and oh, there's something written on a cave in a wall by some caveman or whatever, but you know, it all knows what that means. Uh, so I'm going to take a little break here and show you a couple of things that like help promote this. Then we're going to come back and we're going to take a closer look at them. 1972, I was asleep and suddenly I heard a voice in my head that said, please come outside. That was 4.30 in the morning. The next minute was 7.30 in the morning and I was standing in the yard and I was looking up at an enormous spacecraft that was as big as my house. The only thing I remember is a bunch of us that were only lights gathering around the table and looking at maps. When Larry came running out of the house, it had vanished. Oh my gosh. We're going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a like other thing, it's rotating. Greater scrutiny, time for greater scrutiny. First of all, why does every alien look like some kind of weird smushed up human? I mean, they're able to fly through galaxies faster than the speed of light. They've got this massive intelligence. And for some reason, they always fly over some like strange person's house, suck them up into their thing, abduct them for a few hours or something, do a little anal probe, which is weird in itself, by the way. I mean, if you're an alien and you're that smart that you can build supersonic, massive, faster than the speed of light things... You don't know, like, what a human colon is and why you're so fascinated with it. Anyway, we'll skip that because it's getting a little too personal. But anyway, um, and then, of course, you know, there's the UFOs and they're zipping all over the place and this and that. Let's look at this from a Catholic perspective because there's a bunch of Catholics now talking about, oh, or aliens. And, you know, aliens are really, I mean, they're mentioned in the book of Revelation and they're disguised. And there's all these weird descriptions of locusts with 15 things of armor on them and all this. Oh, that's an alien. Oh, that's, that's a UFO. All right. Let's look at the question, shall we, about UFOs, specifically aliens. The UFO isn't really that thing to really focus on because that's just a craft, supposedly, that's carrying these other life forms from God knows where all over the universe to Earth. So the spaceship isn't something we're particularly interested in, at least not for this show. But we're going to talk about the people, people, the things in there that look like humans. They always look like humans. You know what I'm They always look like humans. If they're so advanced, what well, you know. Anyway, um, can there be such a thing as aliens at the same time Catholic teaching stands uh, on its solid ground 
about the primacy of human life? Well, a whole bunch of questions start arising if you're talking about all of this stuff. First of all, did the aliens have a savior? If they did, who was it? How were they saved? Was there an alien Jesus for alien world over there? Who says there's just one alien world? Why can't there be 5,000 alien worlds? Why can't there be 600 trillion alien worlds of all different types of aliens? Apparently, it all look like humans. Uh, every one of those have a savior. What did they need saving from? Are there some aliens that went to hell? Are there some aliens in heaven? Um, what would have been the choice that the alien Adam and Eves would have had to have made? But let's go back even further. Let's go back to the choice of the angels. You know, the, the creation, no, I'm sorry, creation, the, the angelic world is, you know, kind of torn apart and there's hell and all that because a choice is given to them, to the angels, that they will worship God in uh, the form of man. He reveals to them that, you know, he's going, he's going to create matter and man, and he's going to join himself to that, and you will worship me. That's the whole great big, you know, no, I will not serve. I will not serve, and off they go. Did that thing play out in every single one of these alien civilizations? Were there alien angels? Were there, uh, how could they possibly, uh, what were they worshiping. So, so forget about the ones that went to hell, the alien angels that would go to hell. Forget about them for a moment. Think about the alien angels that said, we will serve you. So they're serving, the alien angels are serving the alien savior in his alien form in heaven uh, so God has alien essence in him as well? And what if there are multiple? What if there are 500 billion alien essences? So is God still a trinity at that point? You know, all, this is this is kind of got to go through things and like follow them through to their logical conclusion. Um, what would be the sin of the alien if it wasn't that, the alien race? What, you know, coming down, not from the angels now, but coming down to God makes an alien and boom, there it is. There's a Jupiterian and over there, there's a Martian and over there, there's a Uranus. See, they're always interested. Maybe that's why they're so interested in like the human. Anyway, um, what's going on with, with all, are, how are these races saved? What if they all passed the test? Let, let's go with that first. They didn't need saving because they all passed the test. Only humans were stupid enough to actually eat the fruit, grab the fig, apple, whatever, take the bite, and they fell, and the whole world goes to hell. But all the rest of these, these are 500 billion alien groups, because why would there be just one? You know, you gotta ask the question. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna expand this, you gotta ask all the questions. So why would there be uh, a, uh, an alien race that had been saved that is now whatever saved means for them, then they're now flying around the universe in spaceships. Doing what? Uh, how are they, like, what would be the purpose of that? They're engaged in the material universe and yet they're saved. So why wouldn't they be with alien God or God with his alien thing in there? Are there more than three persons of the Trinity? Uh, you know, we know that Jesus is God, man. He's the incarnate. Did the aliens have a, a person of the Trinity that incarnated in their human looking bodies that we see in all the movies and stuff? See, this poses all kinds of crazy notions. Now, can all of this be used as a um, uh, an intellectual temptation to make people think, oh, maybe God and Christianity and all that isn't true, or uh, they haven't really thought large. Okay, well, sure, that could happen. But to suggest that aliens are actual demons, um, you can't take on the likeness of a 
uh, of a being that is not your nature without the permission of God to do so. Thank you for watching The Michael Voris Show. If you'd like to watch the entire episode, please head over to churchmilton.com and sign up as a premium member. If you need to sign up to become a premium member, go to churchmilton.com forward slash go premium.